What is up guys, it's Jay here, Jay Media One, and today we are back. Today we got some cool, cool things going on because we're going to talk about Mac OS Monterey. And this time we're going to talk about some hidden cool features that are built inside of the operating system. Some of you may know about some of these, we may have went over a couple of them before, but this time we're going to talk about just the best hidden features inside of the operating system itself. We're also getting a lot of feedback that a lot of you might want to know some things about Windows and some cool things you can do in Windows as well. And we're going to focus on that in the next video. But for this one, we're going to talk about Monterey. Mac OS Monterey might seem like nothing but a minor iterative OS release. On the surface, its biggest new features, share, play, focus, shortcuts, are all about integrating with the iPhone and iPad. But when you look a bit deeper, you'll find that, as always, Apple has made some small tweaks that improve the overall Mac experience, provided you know exactly where to look for that. Here are a dozen or so of our favorite, not so well known features in Mac OS Monterey. One of the coolest ones is the Hello Screensaver for Everyone. Let's start with the most important feature. The coveted Hello Screensaver, once thought exclusive to the Mac 24 inch iMac, is now also available for Macs. There's no more need for use of a workaround or a hack to make your computer a little friendlier. You simply go to System Preferences, Desktop, and Screensaver. Screensaver, Hello, click the Screensaver Options button to change the theme, and Available Languages. You want to get more juice using Low Power Mode? Low Power Mode has been a staple of the iPhone users for life for years now. With Mac OS Monterey, Apple is bringing a similar feature to the Mac. This feature can only be enabled from the system preferences. Battery, battery, low power mode. Once enabled, your Mac will reduce energy usage to increase battery life. Easily replace tab windows in split view. <coughs> If you use split view often, this little feature will save you a lot of time. Now you can easily switch out of window in the split view pair. Hover over the green maximize button in the toolbar and choose replace tiled window option. Then choose from one of the available windows on the desktop to switch to it. Customize your mouse's cursor color. Here's a fun new addition to Mac OS Monterey. You can now customize the color of your mouse pointer. Why would you want to do that? Well, you go to System Preferences, Accessibility, Vision, Display Pointer. Here you'll find two different options, Pointer Outline, Color, and Pointer Fill Color. Click on either to get a color selection tool, and switch to any color that you like. The change will take effect immediately. If you want to go back to how things used to be, just click the Reset button. You ever want to find your passwords in System Preferences? Your passwords now live in System Preferences. There's no need to open up Safari and hunt for the right menu option. From System Preferences Passwords, you'll be able to view and edit all of your passwords and set two-factor authentication for your accounts. Even better, it's now possible to import and export all of your passwords with a click. Live Text and Translate are two big features in Mac OS Monterey and they're both hidden by default. If you're using a supported Mac, you can now copy text from any image just as you would copy text from a document. Hover over the text on the image and you should see a cursor turn into the text selection tool. Then just select the text and copy it. The translate feature works similarly for both text and text in images. Highlight the text, right click, and choose the translate option to get started. Quick note, you now have an option to get a quick note from the bottom right hand corner. Mac OS Monterey brings iPad's quick notes feature to the Mac. Want to quickly jot something down, but don't want to go out of the trouble of opening the notes app? Start a quick note. Move the cursor to the bottom right corner of the screen, and you'll see a little white square appear. Click on it to start a new note, which will afloat on top of every other window on the screen. This is a full-fledged note too. You can access to all the formatting and media features that you're used to. And you can revisit it from the Notes app at any time. AirPlay from iPhone to Mac. 
The Mac can now finally serve as an AirPlay receiver for iPhone and iPad, just like your Apple TV. Make sure your devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi network and that all of your connectivity features are enabled. Then you go to the screen mirroring or AirPlay menu from the control center on your tablet or your phone and you'll see your MacBook listed here. Select it to instantly mirror your phone or iPad screen or to play the media that's on your phone. You guys ever want to quickly convert those HEIC images to JPEG or PNG files? Apple's HEIC format for photos is efficient, improving image quality while making them take up less space, provided you keep said image on your phone. macOS Monterey finally lets you quickly convert HEIC images to JPEGs or PNGs and vice versa. You right click the image file and you choose Quick Actions, Convert Image. From here, choose the image format and the size, and click Convert to JPEG button. The new image will be saved in the same folder. Use the better go-to options in Finder. Apple has massively improved the go-to folder feature in the Finder app. You can get there using the Go, Go to Folder feature from the menu bar, or using the Shift plus Command plus G keyboard shortcut. Here you can paste a path if you like you used to, or you can type in a folder name to search for it like you would in Spotlight Search. You'll see the results at the bottom, and after selecting a path, you'll see some subfolder options right in the drop-down menu, which makes them easier to switch to as well. You ever want to use an interactive emoji on the lock screen? If you use your emojis as your avatar, you're in for a treat. Your emoji will now keep animating and switch poses on the lock screen, just like it does on the emoji watch face on the Apple Watch. When you get your password wrong, your emoji will even scoff at you. If you aren't using your emoji as your avatar, go to System Preferences, Users and Groups, click your profile picture, and then switch to Memoji. I hope you guys enjoyed that short video. Those are just some really cool hidden features that we got inside of macOS Monterey. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you mash the like button, hit subscribe, and we will see you guys next time. Later, guys.